Hello, everyone. Welcome to this presentation of our paper, MuleScape, an end-to-end -end music processing toolkit for Cinema voice synthesis. I'm Jia Tongxu, and this is a joint work with Shui Guo, Tao Qian, Nan Huo, Tomoki Hayashi, Yu Ning Wu, Frank Xu, Xuan Kai Chang, Hua Zheli, Peter Wu, Xinji Watanabe, and Qin Jin. So in this talk, we're primarily focusing on the music introduction, and this part will be talking about why we want to introduce music as a new toolkit, and what is music about, and how is music performing over the cinema synthesis, and it's, we'll be also trying to show the real-time demonstration over music. And the last time, we'll be uh, showing some next steps we are doing for them towards the music. So here, but first, we want to discuss about what is sending voice synthesis. And the idea is quite simple. So basically, uh, we just want to mimic, mimic a human. We're kind of sending voice uh, generating from ourselves and then sending out the sounds. And so here, the key factor we have is the lyrics and the music score corresponding to it. So here, basically, we'll be having firstly having the music score and also the lyrics. Uh, which they're also aligned that we know that which notes are corresponding to which uh, specific lyrics, syllables, or uh, phonemes, and so on. And then we'll be using that to send out the sounds. And the sending voice senses may be exactly the same that we'll be using this two information and they're aligned and then using the information to generate the sending voice synthesis uh, output. So here, it, what we have is that we have a severe challenge in sending voice synthesis which is corresponding to the data collection part. Compared to the text-to-speech, which is referred to as the TTS, and also a very close task as sending voice synthesis, the SVS, which we refer as the sending voice synthesis, has its difficulty in data collection. So it usually has more strict usage guideline and copyright concerns because it has a lyrics compo and composer and also like the arranger and mixer and so on. So basically, it will be taking more of the uh, copyright concerns. Literally, we also requires a professional high quality recording environment to give in a good sending quality. At the same time, it needs longer time to record the sounds because you need to care about the rhythm, you need to care about the melody and so, so on and so forth. And the last one that uh, for collecting the data for sending with synthesis, you need a very detailed annotation, not only for the music score information, but also for the lyrics alignment with the music score. So fortunately, we still have some great efforts in releasing databases and code bases for some sending voice synthesis models. For example, we have Sciency, which is known as one of the initial open source works uh, for the sending voice synthesis. And it's using the HM architecture to support its like, task. On the same hand, we also have the NSVS, which supports nine recipes until the recent days. And it's using the cascaded DN architecture where we have a different DN uh, component to perform the prediction over the sending voice. And the later one, we also have some specific models or databases that we'll be using for the sending voice synthesis and which we listed some of them here. However, it's still different to provide a fire comparison of different models with different sending voice synthesis corpus. So here, the major reason is that we'll be having different data sets, we'll be having differences in terms of the feature representation, and in the aspects of the vocoders, it still have lots of differences, like some of them using the parametrical vocoders and some they're using the neural vocoders and so on and so forth. So given that, the goal of music here is to provide a platform for fair comparison of different models a platform for end of to end to end sending voice synthesis researchers and a platform for different types of sending voice synthesis. For example, listing a few over there, like the single singer scenarios, multi single scenarios, and multilingual scenarios, and also the transfer learning scenarios. So here we want to briefly introduce the music as a preview. The music generally have a Python library that will be supporting the neural network architectures and a uniform training decoding framework. 
At the same time, we are having a shell based recipes, which including all in one style scripts that follow in the Caldean ESPNet, which is a great work over the uh, formalizing all the stages over each of the uh, data pre-processing pre and also training and inference and scoring. So in terms of the MUDIC score representation, we are currently supporting two types of the MUDIC score representation, including the syllable level feature and also the frame level feature. Literally, like the frame level feature is the syllable level feature, which plus the duration information noted as the MUDIC score. So it's still like we can regard, it can be directly get from the music score, which we know as the feature as well. But at the same time, we also provide the syllable level feature, which are also frequently used for many of the systems. So in terms of the models, uh, currently we only support non-autoregressive models, but we are working towards like the autoregressive model and like the other all kinds of different models types. For now, the models supporting are the RN-based model, transformer-based model, and CLSC. And they both have the options to inject the ground truth duration, or they also have the uh, option to like the predicting the ground truth duration by duration predictor. So here we will have in both of the experiments later in our experiment section. And you can also feel free to check more details either from the paper or from the GitHub repository. So following that, we want to talk about some advancement over our training inference and evaluation in terms of the MuseGate. So here, for the training of MuseGate, we are supporting the underfly data augmentation, including the pitch augmentation and mix-up augmentation. And the same paper is also presenting in this interspeech 2022. We'll be showing like the different kinds of like uh, using this augmentation. We could showing like we could get better performances on different data sets and different kinds of the models. So at the same time, we're uh, supporting a virus neural vocoders for the inferences, and that will be greatly boosted the research because we could easily test different scenarios over the vocoders. And the later one, we are, uh, also want to note that we are using uh, uh, having supported the objective evaluation over music as well. So here we're supporting the mean capstra distortion with some voice error rate and rooted mean square error of the fundamental frequencies which is all calculated by dynamic time warping so that we could take consideration of the time mismatch over each of the sequences. So later, I want to talk about how is MuseGate now. So in terms of that, we already have 17 recipes and one template supporting our GitHub repo and feel free to check them. So basically we have 15 corporas listed in the recipes, which including 11 Japanese corpora and also three Mandarin corpora and one corpus with the Korean plus English data set. The later one, we also support two special cases, uh, for example, including the multi singer scenarios and the multilingual scenarios. They are both having the same uh, cases where we'll be basically combining the different data from the uh, previous 15 copper because we do not really have those kind of data set available directly. For the experiments, that we are testing now four different scenarios, like including the single singer, multi singer, multilingual and also the transfer learning scenarios. And they are all from open source databases and you can find more details of each of their combination from our paper. But notice that you can clearly see from the table one that the duration here for each of the corpus is much smaller than uh, the corresponding TTS one where we'll be having uh, hundreds of hours of data where we now only have like sometimes only minutes of data. So it's really difficult to perform a sending version with this limited of data with an end-to-end -end model. So in terms of that, the, we can still know that the sending version synthesis now is a very challenging task. So here we want to discuss about the single and multi-singer experiments. Uh, from the ex experiments table, you can clearly say that actually the result is kind of mixed. But consider the most score and other objective uh, evaluation metrics say that surprisingly, the RN based models still have a very good performances over transformer and CIC in single singer plus uh, ground truth duration. 
And that might be reached actually because the limited of the data set, which uh, makes the transformer and CISN difficult to train well, but we still need further investigation over this side of the experiments. And we're expecting to have more investigation following with our MUSE kit development. In the later case, we can find that actually multilingual pre-training will be not directly helping the system, but giving the fine tuning after this multilingual pre-training could be getting great success over the baseline model. So you can clearly say that we can get very good performances over the more score, like almost like five per, uh, 0 0.5 of the more score improvements. So although we cannot compare the absolute improvements in, in terms of more score, but still the, uh, the kind of difference is huge. So later we want to uh, talk about the transfer learning and does it help for the uh, sending word synthesis? So the result is yes. The, basically, uh, we're testing on the case, key thing, which is uh, low resource multi-style databases, where we have limited variance in terms of the phoneme sequence and melodies because they have many uh, repetitions over the time. And also they will be uh, very difficult in terms of uh, the styles because it have both the Chinese folk style and the pop style in terms of the music proceeding and the resulting in the frequent changes over the uh, sound and so on. But still, from the table, we can see that in terms of the objective evaluation, the multilingual one is getting a very good performances. At the same time, uh, in terms of the preference task, the key thing in terms of the multilingual training model is still getting the better performances. So we can clearly indicate that the transfer learning could be helping in even ch more challenging cases. So here we want to also showcase our real-time demonstration. And we also have a QR code here and welcome to scan it and to try this demonstration on your local computer. So uh, the same demonstration is also in the GitHub. So you can also access the GitHub for more information. So in terms of the representation, what we have is uh, like uh, the, the, this kind of demonstration over the time. And firstly, we'll be install the minimum components with our MuseKit module. And then later, after that, we'll be uh, doing the initialization over the acoustic model from our MuseKit repo. And then download the pre-trained vocoder from the parallel webcam uh, so that we'll be also using the vocal, neural vocoder at the same time. After that, we'll be doing the inference with our sending word synthesis. And it's as simple as just initial this kind of class. And later we're just doing uh, data initialization and uh, uh, getting the data into the system. And after that, what we get is a uh, MIDI format information, which we visualize here, and also a duration information, which corresponding to each of the lyrics. Given these two information, we could easily get the result with our music kit. So we can hear the sound here. So this is the performance over the same word synthesis module from the music kit. And if you want more examples and more pre trained model, more vocoders, please refer to our repo. So we'll be having more information there. So in terms of the next step, we are looking for more recent models we have uh, uh, in the field of the senior word synthesis, including both the uh, acoustic models and vocoders. And also we are bound to support in the acoustic uh, vocoder joining models. Like for example, the VI singer will be directly uh, generating the uh, waveform of the audio. And in the same time, we are doing a merging into ESPNet which we are aiming to bridge in the speech technologies in cinema voice processing and also take benefits from the software level support uh, from the ESNet, like the continuous integration test and so on. So that's all for my talk. And thank you very much for listening to the talk uh, and feel free to check our repo at the cinema voice synthesis with MuseKit. Thank you very much.